This video will cover the installation of the steer axle bracket and sensor. Locate and mark the center of the steer axle. Using chalk or a permanent marker, mark the top of the steer axle three inches on either side of the center mark. Using a grinder, sand the six inch area until nothing remains but bare metal. We recommend that you partially sand down the casting seam as well. Verify that the bracket contact pads fit into the sanded area and that no axle paint is left under the pads. Place the bracket assembly at the center of the axle. Use C-clamps to hold the bracket in place. Make sure you leave the alignment tool in the bracket assembly while welding. Tack weld all eight corners of the base. Fill it weld a full bead on the front and back edges of each bracket piece. Do not connect your welds. Make sure that you leave a gap from one bracket foot to the other. Remove the alignment tool from the bracket. Retain the nuts and bolts. Route the sensor extension cable up to the cab, through the firewall, and behind the dash. Insert the steer axle sensor with its cable extending toward the side of the vehicle where the sensor extension cable has been routed up to the firewall. Ensure when installing the deflection sensor that the engraved lettering is pointing towards the sky. When tightening the bolts, always torque the nut. Do not torque the bolt head. Verify that your sensor is displaying properly by checking the AD readings in the cab or on your test box. To navigate to the AD screen, for load max scale displays, press the escape button until the view weights flashes. Arrow down to setup and press enter. Arrow down to diagnostics and press enter. Arrow down to comlinks and press enter. Select AD readings and press enter. Select axle group and press enter. To adjust your AD values, apply either upward or downward pressure to the plastic nut at the end of the sensor using only your fingers. When the AD values are between 750 to 1250, maintain pressure while torquing to 60 foot-pounds. When you've completed the initial torque, if your values remain between 750 and 1250, finish torquing to 120 foot-pounds. After setting the AD values on your sensor, the sensor will require a break-in period that can last up to two weeks of regular use before calibration. Using enamel spray paint, paint all welded and sanded areas to prevent oxidization. Mount the cover over the sensor and the bracket so that the sensor cable is running directly out from the space provided in the cover. Using your two band clamps, tightly secure them around the space provided on the bracket cover. 